Good evening, Patriots. I'm Merle, this is Jimbo, and you're listening to Patriot Talk. This is episode 239, and unfortunately, it will be the final episode, as we've been canceled by Big Spotify. Jimbo, what do you think about that? It's just a real shame. 239 episodes in, we finally got taken down by the media. Damn shame. So yeah, apparently you can't have a different opinion than the mainstream media has nowadays. And, like, the same thing goes with all this corona stuff, right? Like, it's passed already. Fauci himself said that it's a a, a hoax. So, I don't know. What's the need for masks, you know? Yeah, I went into a Whole Foods the other day. (laughs) (laughs) And they told me to put a mask on or leave. That's hilarious, man. Honestly, like, there's such a bunch of little soy boy cucks down there. Those fucking soy boy cuck <laughs> motherfuckers. Always talking about mask this, mask that. I don't need no goddamn mask. I can't breathe. I can't talk in one. <laughs> all this Rona stuff, man. It's like my meme always said, just rub some dirt on it, man. Like, ain't that serious. Like, only, how many people died? Like, 2,000, something like that? I don't even probably not even that much to be honest with you and there's still like seven billion of us so exactly there's you know exactly nothing wrong with seven billion people alive so what what does that say about global warming it's just weather it gets hot it gets cold and that's all it is exactly like the climate it changes a year over year you know we just have to do our own research that's the problem with these media types they want to shove this narrative down our throat. They don't want people to do their own research. They don't want people to have alternative opinions, alternative forms of information. And that's really the problem. And that's part of the reason why we've been canceled. Man, it's like my meme always says. Better to butter your own toast than to let someone else do it for you, you know? Exactly, exactly. Man, that ain't even that hot today. Like, it's only like, what, 107, 108? Like, it's honestly not that bad as these these media yeah. types make it out to be, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like, it's not even that bad. Just just don't even wear sleeves like me, you know what I mean? And then right. you get a cool breeze open, everywhere. Open your collar out. Open your collar. Show a little bit of skin, and you're good. You're fine. Put on a hat. Yeah. Your favorite trucker hat, and you're good. Man, I was, I was thinking last night, right? On my nightly prayer. Nightly I was prayer, yeah. Looking at my, my picture of Jesus picture of Jesus. Sweet old. Sweet old. It ain't funny, man. It ain't funny at all. Anyway, I was praying to my picture of sweet baby Jesus and I prayed to him. I looked up at him and I said, sweet baby Lord, please kill Joe Biden tonight. Please. Yeah, I mean, I'm right there with you, brother. Like, those gas prices, who else did them? Sleepy Joe. Exactly. He's in charge of that shit. It says right there in his duties in the Constitution. In charge gas of gas pri- <laughs> In charge of gas prices, exactly. And, and it, it ain't a laughing matter, fellas. My Ford F-150 <laughs> takes 20, no, it takes 13 a gallon. Takes 13 a gallon to fill that thing. All right? And Sleepy Joe is in charge of that directly. And I know he's out there working with that Putin fella to increase gas prices. Don't let the li- liberal media tell you what's going on out there. They're lying to you because they're protecting his ass. You know? That's that's honestly what it comes down to. Yeah, and it's like, I keep laughing because it's just so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Put Trump back in there, tag team. Okay. He saves this country. He brings the economy right. back up. Gas prices go right back down. Right. But why even have Joe in there? It don't need to be a tag team. It could be a one-man show back with the main man, the main businessman, Donald Trump. Just keep him in there. Not, he, you know he's been president this whole time, right? They've been keeping him in the secret underground bunker. They've been silencing him. They've been taking away his First Amendment rights. And that's why Elon's bringing him back to Twitter. Exactly. But that's, we- why, that's why he bought Twitter, so we could bring Trump back, because he's on our side. He's not on their side. Joe only needed to be in to please the libs. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's why this crypto thing... <laughs> <laughs> and that's why this crypto thing is so important, because it brings us back into power. It gives us another form of income that we can fight them with. More ways to accumulate wealth, right? And exactly. I, I, yeah, yeah. I may have lost, like, millions. I may have lost my lifetime savings to crypto. Um, what was it, Dogecoin, something like that? Don't get me started with them NFTs. That's some ingenious work right there. Yeah, I believe Elon made those, right? He Elon? Invent, he invented those. I don't know. I like the NFTs. ones with the monkeys. <laughs> the mon- 
No, yeah, Joe, he just has a stupid name, man. And he's like old as hell. He's Fucking like older than my grandpappy. Bag of wrinkles. He's, he's like older than my grandma. She's like dead. Sorry to hear about that failure. No, I fucking hated her. She, she was a, one of them Democrats. Why? What'd she do? Oh, well, just because she was a Democrat? No, nah, she was just like a loyal housewife. But I took her out back, shot her with my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> fucking god! Sorry to hear about that. Nah, man, she had it coming to her, you know. Like I said, she was just one of them libs. Fuck them. Fuck yeah. her. Yeah. I I don't even care that she was my my mama's mom. To be honest with you, she was always a little bitch. All right, Jimbo, we I've been talking a little bit too much. I've been rambling. What do you got to say? It's crazy. You can't even tell a joke anymore in today's right. media. That's why right. we're getting canceled, you know what I mean? Mm. But you even bring it back to something really recent, like the Oscars, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, so Will Smith went up there at the Oscars, you know, right. just having recently smacked, smacked the shit. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean the shit out of Chris Rock, right? <laughs> right, right. Pretty funny on paper, uh -huh. obviously. But, but when you break it down, it's like you can't even tell jokes no more. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And it's not even on some racist shit. Because I love Chris Rock. He's my favorite comedian, right? Uh -huh. And if you watch all the other episodes, 238 of them of Patriot Talk, you know I'm not racist. But it's like <laughs> the... <laughs> no, you guys know Jimbo. He ain't like that. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but you can't even tell a joke anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what sucks about today's media. It's like, right? No, it's just like the side has gone soft. America's gone soft. Like, this liberals out and over in the Oscar town. Like, they don't want to hold people accountable anymore, man. All right, everyone, and we're just gonna end the final episode of Patriot Talk with a bit of fan mail. You know we love our fan mail here on Patriot Talk. And here we got a, a nice little letter from Daryl. He asks Jimbo. Earl, what was your favorite moment? Recording, the tried, tested, true, and truly patriotic Patriot Talk. Fuck, it's hard because you know what I mean. Two hundred and thirty-eight episodes. Right. right. It's hard to. It's hard it's to hard pin to, it down, man. Exactly. And it's like so much great content in there. So much great content. It's like we've been back and forth. You know, we've been to NASCAR. We've been to. We've been to the NRA convention. We've been. To, we've been to it all. <laughs> I think my favorite episode has to be January fifth before. The January 6th right, Capitol. Of course. You know, of course. Of it's course. like, we talked about it. We knew, we were the ringleaders, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, seeing our voice finally be heard on the news exactly. that day of, day later, uh -huh. days later, still to this day, you know what right. I mean? And it's like, we made history. My favorite episode, like Jimbo said, there's so much to choose from, man. Every single one of those episodes, we poured our heart and soul and beer into that. Like, it was just, man, it was a hell of a ride with you guys, all the patriots out there to say my favorite had to be the flat earth convention man oh yeah like our base there's so much of our base that crosses over into that flat earth community exactly. and, it, and rightfully so because that's that's the truth of the matter the earth is flat and they want to take that knowledge away from us like so many things on this earth like so many things on this planet and it all comes back to that liberal media and i remember like right after that that recording that flat earth convention recording that's that was around 2012 when the earth was about to end right yeah, exactly. And we stopped that. All right, that's the. Uh, I think. I think that's the final. This is it. That's the right. final minutes, final Hell seconds of, a, of Patriot Talk. Hell of a run. Hell of a run. You know, just like I always been saying every episode. But light of day keeps the doctors away. Make sure to remember that. He's cold. Patriot Talk, and all of your favorite conservative websites. Stay safe out there, everybody. We love you. Peace.